Sporting Sports City Tennis Complex. I'm Barry Milnes, alongside me, former British player Arvin Palmer, as we come to the concluding day of this competition, and it should be great fun. Three fine matches lined up for us, beginning with the uh, women's doubles, which will uh, come up in the next few minutes. Uh, Weather-wise, well, we uh, have a day of... Uh, humidity and uh, heat um, it is not actually as hot today at this point of the day as it has been uh, in previous days but it is very humid as you can see the wind speed not much at the moment uh, barely a flutter in the the leaves is on the trees nearby but uh, potential for some uh, downpours later in the day we hope we'll get uh, everything through by then uh, but of course we did have a couple of significant rain delays yesterday a real deluge but uh, fans uh, getting into their seats early and uh, on both sides of the court today because the sun is not shining through, so uh, no need at the moment for direct protection from that. Arvin, warm welcome to, to you. It, it's been a fun week and, and, and this could be a, a terrific final day, couldn't it? Yeah, absolutely. It's a real quality on the cards. Uh, both of these pairings have been very successful over the years. So they are very highly ranked in the world, so uh, should make for some good tennis it's been such a successful game for the Chinese already on the whole Chinese Taipei doing well also making it through to the final here and uh, yeah looking forward to the the men's gold medal match as well Istamin and uh, Wu Yiping uh, a tough one yesterday evening for the Chinese player the youngster but he was able to get through that one uh, just over two hours that match took so physically it's uh, certainly taken its toll and, uh, you would think would be the case and then the mixed doubles uh, that should be a fantastic uh, atmosphere to round everything off uh, this Asian Games and the tennis with the, the locals the Indonesians playing so well to get themselves to the final yes they really did and uh, their opponents um, their rivals from Thailand uh, Luxika Kumkum and Sonchat Ratavitana taking on Chris Runkat and Adila Adila Suciari it uh, should be pretty special well nice to see the two teams are having a moment, a light moment there in the, the darkness of the tunnel before they are introduced. But the Chinese on the left, that is uh, Yifan Zhu and uh, Yao Zhong Yang. And uh, the Chan sisters, commonly known as uh, Angel and Letitia. They asked to be known like that, I think, on the tour. Letitia is the elder of the uh, two Chan sisters, but the, uh, the slight of the two, she's 5'7". Angel is uh, five foot nine. Interestingly, of course, Angel and uh, Yang, the Chinese player, play together on the tour. <laughs> so uh, they know each other very well. And uh, hopefully uh, a match that will be played in, well, fiercely competitive, but in great spirit, as we've just seen there. So we're just coming up uh, to the top of the hour which will be Good 10 o'clock in the morning and the introductions and come here. Welcome to the families of the Futures of the 80th Asian Game 2018, Jakarta, Palembang, South Sumatra, Indonesia. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, now we will watch for the final match, Women Single between Hao Xingqian and Yunshan Latisha Chai from Chinese Taipei. Versus Yifan Chu and Yunshan Yang from China. So Angel well, and Chan and for this morning, her elder sister Latisha behind her. You and Ladies and gentlemen, Just you are them. kindly requested to turn off your mobile phone or leave it on silent mode. And this area is a no smoking zone. Please do not smoke in all areas. Thank you. And they are the four Ladies pairs. They are the top two seeded pairs in the draw. Twenty-eight pairs entered this event. Some buys for the, uh, the top seeds amongst them. So uh, these two teams only having to uh, play, I say only, but uh, they had to play three matches each to reach the final. And we 
we're just waiting for the two teams to join the umpire for the spin of the coin. So Letitia and Angel Chan will line up on that side. Uh, Angel on the ad side, and Tisha on the right. Zhu or Zhu Yifan is the uh, lefty or the Chinese pair. Just adds a little bit of a dynamic to the double playing against the lefty. Right hand is not used to that. She can perhaps take advantage of being a lefty. That swinging serve, always so useful. Two pairs have uh, made strong progress through, as I say, the three matches they had to uh, to get through to advance to this gold medal match. And there you can see from the, uh, the Chan's point of view, toughest match coming for them against uh, Uchijima and Hayashi. We saw Hayashi performing again yesterday in a pulsating mixed doubles semi-final and likewise for uh, the Chinese it was their second match which also pressed them the hardest but uh, they came through very well 6-4-6-2 six, uh, six, in their semi and the chance absolutely dismissed uh, Annette Dinova and Danilina double bagel them, six loves, six loves so uh, you can't do much better than that to uh, take your place in a final and in terms of uh, current rankings well, Angel is uh, ranked 23 in the world Leticia is currently the world number three and uh, they have won many titles with uh, different partners uh, they don't play on the tour as mentioned uh, Angel partners Yang and they uh, this year won uh, Dubai two minutes but, um, yeah 29 titles for Letitia 14 titles for her younger sister she's 24 Angel and uh, Letitia 29 and on the uh, the opposite side in the red of course the Chinese pair Zhu is uh, 30 years of age and uh, Yang, the right-hander, is only 23. She's got uh, three titles. Uh, and her partner with uh, eight in all. In fact, uh, her regular partner, that is Zhu, the left-hander. She plays with uh, Gabby Dabrowski, the Canadian. And they picked up a couple of titles this year 
One in Sydney and another in Eastbourne. So it should be real quality from the outset for players as highly ranked as they are. Tisha actually looking to defend her US Open title this year. She is the defending champion there. Actually won it with Martina Hingis last year. Of course Martina has since retired. Again. Excuse me. Again. Again. Yeah. <laughs> she just can't help herself. Loves the sport too much. Ladies and gentlemen, this match will consist of two tablet sets with no advantage scoring. A 10 point match that they will be played at once at all. Certainly a, a cooler feeling around the court today, which is uh, welcome. Shu Yang to the left of the chair, one of selected to receive. The warm-up complete and uh, we are almost ready to get this last day underway. I think we've got this many spectators here already. Um, hopefully by the end of the day it will be absolutely uh, packed in with uh, that Indonesian representation in the final match. It's perhaps only fitting, really. They, they've fought valiantly. Suciardi has done so well, both uh, well, in all the events uh, she entered and uh, to have partnered Runcat yesterday. It was a very exciting match that we saw then, and we're hoping for another when they take on Kumkum Kum and Ratabatana. And, of course, Istamin versus Wu Yi Bing, the young Chinese who uh, is only in his first full season on the main tour. He was the uh, US Open boys champion last year, Wu Yi Bing, and then won a, a challenger on the, the main circuit. Back to come, but back to the present and our women's doubles final. Thank you, John, representing Chinese Tapetus. Tisha Chan to serve. Bought herself some time to get close to that net. Get up, get up. And the lob return. <laughs> Finding the route past the net player. Key to do, and nowhere near achieving that here. height doesn't she and was able to then bring that down from a height bounce it up Long levers she has this play on the court Not to her advantage Always 
that threat from Angel trying to get across the, 14, the court there and patrol the net. It's pressure on the baseline player. Steady enough start for the top seeds from Chinese Taipei. Well, all the build up, all the hard work to get this far, and the nervous excitement in the uh, warm up, and now into the match. and. Uh, for all of them just trying to settle, get those nerves out of the way that might still be fluttering around and try and hold their Shui Fan to serve. service game, so should we found to serve. <laughs> She's not convinced that was wide, but the umpire not going anywhere near an overall. wide by Angel in the end after good work from her at the net. And this was a standout get, wonderful hands, good reactions. She's just a little too heavy handed on the t-shirt. And then just you know, the swinging on the volley. So easy to lose control of the ball. Jamming Letitia up. Always a good play. Nowhere else to go. Hard and straight at your opponents, a good option. Shu <laughs> calling for it, taking it on from behind her partner. Shu who's ranked uh, 12 in the world. She's been up to number nine. Her partner currently number 20, which is a career high for Yang. being a lefty on that serve it's just a nightmare to have to try and return swinging away finding the accuracy off the return net players all over it and once again they team up well to uh, take uh, that game to love one all. Wonderful timing. Forward movement and then across. Check this out. That's the way to do it.
Well done. Yeah. On our racket here, should be disappointed, just couldn't keep it low enough. Great pace on the serve, but uh, already at 40 love. Angel Chan with the game points. And you attempting it all, but unable to see it through uh, so a 2-1 lead for the top seeds from Chinese Taipei oh, she's very keen to get herself forward a couple of times now where she's hit the returns and looked to get herself to the net Good to see trying to apply that pressure And the younger of the two Chinese to uh, complete the quartet of uh, opening service games here. One, two. And well handled. And again from Shu. Fired straight at her, but she kept the ball out in front of her got up to the smash well. Hunting it down, no mistake. And for Yang it just shows you if you're not able to keep the ball low enough over the net, drop those sort of volleys all over this one. her emotion after uh, withstanding the heat at the net. That's a wonderful stretch right there just to keep that rally alive. That was difficult but she was able to get herself back in position, balanced. to react to a volley like that. Oh, it's fired up 
the line by uh, 13, 14. a lady who has won uh, medals in all of the last three Asian Games. And it brings up break point. Atisha on the podium in this event. Uh, firstly, as a silver medalist in 2006, they won, she won gold in 2010 and uh, took a bronze last time in 2014. Now, what can her sister do here on return? <laughs> Not enough. Deuce. And it's still the signing point. point. Uh, Chinese working out who is going to Sorry, the oh, Taipei going to work out who is going to take it on. It is Letitia. to try and spring a surprise with the cross court but just not enough and it is a hold for China again that wasn't far away mm. it's an ambitious shot though but I think she was just feeling the pressure from the net player from China and that's her job she has to kind of force the opponents just to take their eye off the ball a second that's all it takes you missed the shot <laughs> oh, she is dealing with that Up the volley very nicely his angel using the pace of the return I'm trying to add any of her own pace to it. Beautifully timed lunge at that. Well, that time she took pace off the volley. Very nice, double handed as well. How close she is, she's just got to be so aware of how close you are to the net, you don't want to touch it. There's some kids just moving as you can see at the side of the court up the stairs. Thank you. not go over. She did really well on the first. Massive point. Tisha going with a couple of lobs just to change things up. Not enough length on that one. Over there. Under the ball.
moment of concern, certainly for Chinese Taipei. Still in regular formation. And it whistles past Angel Chan. The T-shirt is broken. Some return. That was sweet. Right out the centre of the racket. Took, taken, excuse me, very early. So our first break of the day. Some way to achieve that. In terms of uh, medals tally for the game so far, with well, China way out in front, currently coming into today, 66 gold medals for them, a total of 139 medals in all. Chinese Taipei are seventh at the moment on the leaderboard, six golds and a tally in total of 25. And the other nations we'll have uh, in action today: Uzbekistan in the shape of Denis Istomin in our men's singles final to follow this and then Thailand and Indonesia in that mixed doubles final at the finish Chan's falling behind early here as the Chinese get that breakthrough and the left-hander the leader of the team Zhu to uh, serve again on the other side up uh, in the eye formation and just putting pressure on Letitia's backhand with that serve seeing what she can do to try and bring it back up the line you don't have to have the biggest serve to, for it to be effective a couple of serves there very accurate both on the line. Spinny as well. Oh, set up nicely. Good deep first serve. serving that was deep into the box yeah, and four the points. team combining again four serves on the line uh, yesterday we watched as uh, Wang Qiang beat Zhang Shui in an all Chinese singles final he dominated that event in the last three games now the last four was unable to and then Angel when she had changed the tack there had to cover across quickly but that's a great deep ball and this is some finish <laughs> just given the space to hit into just had to make sure she executed it well struck it beautifully
late looking volley. Too much shoulder turn. Always the danger. You're going to catch a forehand volley very late if you do that. Depth from Yang and another break point for China. An ultra aggressive point from Yang. You can hear how much effort she's putting into every shot right now. Bus driving. <laughs> A little overexcited. <laughs> Steady yourself and did well. It's another deciding point. It's a serve that, that lacks power and it comes back off the return very strongly and again from Yang to uh, force their way through and break for the second time. They uh, take charge of this set, 5-2. There's nothing sometimes you can do, you're just trying to defend this back if you let us try and find some sort of length to it. Couldn't do it, couldn't control the ball, which is too big from Yang. A bit surprised that you know Angel, being as tall as she is, mm. doesn't have a, a, a better serve, you know, bigger serve than she does. But uh, that was very vulnerable there. It's all about accuracy. Mm. She doesn't have the the bigger serve either. But we saw in her previous game that she was able yeah, to she find can, the lines. If you've got and that at least, just got to work on that accuracy. Get your opponent to at least take a, a step or a step and a half to return your serve. But it's when it's right in the hitting zone you're going to really struggle at this level four players you know, world-class doubles players small sign of weakness they'll look, look to exploit it back-to-back -back breaks for the chinese uh, a reminder of uh, good work they've done already good movement around the net from shoot and it's uh, certainly her strength also yang Dealing with those reflex volleys, never easy. You stay very alert. A lot of intensity. Good execution. Yang serving for the set.
she tried so hard she did so well to rescue the point earlier on but it's her sister really will be disappointed that volley uh, did not help at all right here good hustling by the Chinese Wasn't she? Oh, she was trying to get involved, but her reaction, as you say. Now they have just been so good today. A couple of smashes he's reflexed in this game. From a deep position here as well. Not easy. Right hand on the racket just for extra stability. Make sure you're hitting away from Chu right now. Don't give an opportunity there to reflex it. It's a good volley, good put away. forward again momentum behind the shots the volleys Interception. Once again, sweetly out of Zhu's racket, and it earns them set point. Sister finding uh, enough height on that to make it awkward. Yes. Well saved. Can Chinese Taipei fend off this one? Break back. At least get one of them back their way and break the Chinese for the first time. Or will it be the set? And put China set away from a, a second gold of these games in the tennis. Indeed, one set away from the title and they fully deserve to take that set on the uh, basis of their play it was a uh, pretty darn good excellent tennis really complement each other nicely the ground strokes the aggressive returns of Yang and then Xu so good around the net such good reflexes her aggression as well on the return when she's using that chipper and bunting it and coming forward just 
taking time away from these two. They really did feel the pressure. They uh, look as if they're going to leave the court. Maybe a costume change of some sort. Taking a, a whole bag with her there. Maybe close for both of them. more in sync haven't they and uh, both of them playing a consistently better level so far but there's time enough yet of course as much as they like really as long as it takes for uh, Chinese Taipei to try and fight back While we wait to a look at a selection of the winners from the Chinese in the opening set. They did execute their game well. Again, evidence of how Kukshu is around the net. Positions close to it. Expect uh, much of the same in the second set. Don't want to change up too much. He's just taken the first set six games to two. Closer actually than the scoreline would suggest. Some deciding points winning games. Trying to keep the focus, keep it all contained. If they can uh, carry on in the rich vein of form they've shown in our first set here today. Gold could be China's again. Just throwing it forward, Arvin, to uh, the match coming up next, of course, uh, Dennis Istamin. Not before 11 o'clock, we'll have Istamin against Wu Yi Bing. I suppose the concern must be about the Chinese because uh, he had that battle with Duki Lee 
last night and uh, he did suffer a bit of a an injury it seems uh, to his glute and um, he was in a bit of pain but he fought on brilliantly it was a very exciting final set 7-5 that he decided it but Istvin has just looked class apart hasn't he he's carved his way through without too much fuss yeah absolutely yeah he's looked very good doesn't look as if he's had to get out of kind of fourth gear at the moment and it will be interesting to see how the youngster fares because uh, we were a little unsure whether it was an actual injury or whether it was just a little bit of cramp he was obviously in a fair bit of pain at the time but he did come back out and he did look okay but a night's rest and you really do kind of see where you're at physically things start to stiffen up and it's been a quick turnaround for him finishing fairly late so and the adrenaline would have been still pumping through his veins and would have been the easiest sleeping getting a restful sleep and back out this morning and to warm up go through the routines once again it's a fairly early start i mean not before 11 o'clock the singles match so okay you've got a, a definite the earliest time you're going to start you know your day's got to start kind of six seven o'clock in the morning so you wouldn't have slept that much and it's now turning into quite the delay barry i'm not quite sure what's going on here yes more than six minutes already the end of that first set. So the changing rooms are directly below the stands here, so it's hard to understand why there is such a long break. Zhu pacing around, yeah. Yang still seated. But they're um, about to emerge, I think, so uh, hopefully we'll be underway again very shortly. And more fans have made their way as well into the arena, so the atmosphere will build on this last day, as it should. You've got your earplugs ready for the final match. <laughs> the Indonesians against the Thais, that should be terrific just in the tennis but in the atmosphere as well so they're actually going to come in from the other end now they've gone round and uh, emerged at the far end as we look onto the court but it's like a magic trick yeah <laughs> perhaps they're trying to throw them off <laughs> well if they're i wonder if they might change sides yeah. just something to change things up well if they're trying to break the rhythm of the chinese players i mean this will certainly do it it's a long break nearly what, 10 minutes getting on a bit. Right. Well, as sisters, they'll have an understanding, but uh, will they have come up with a solution? Thank you, sir. Discussions off court. Letitia will start this set as she did the first. helping out string involved there we just died another and that's one of a number that uh, she really should have buried but hasn't been able to so low when she struck it feet not moving at all wasn't in good position and the wind is starting to kick up as well a bit what it 
Second serve. Second serve for just 132 kilometers an hour. Nothing on it. But Angel, I mean, just didn't go for it, did she? Mm. She seems to be uh, lacking confidence at the moment. It's eroded. better there and we'll be relieved no doubt to have uh, watched that one go out as her sister chased it down And if she can drag her sister to that level as well, somehow there may not be a, a great fight here to try and gain this second set that they now need, of course. Thirty-year-old left-hander. Shoot, you find to serve right now. in charge with the call. Angel Chan has done a great job of extending the rally like this. That making it pretty difficult, but ultimately it comes back too deep for her to hoist a sufficient lob. Net. It was an excellent serve. Just couldn't keep that one down. Play it that high over the net, you're going to have a lot more spin on it than that.
from Letitia Chan. Finding the line. The route certainly from this return. And that was aggressive to say the least. Did that to it. It was a very good serve. She timed it beautifully, kept her balance. Good wrist work there. Chinese yet to be broken. once again to her advantage short up the box swinging away t-shirt outside the double tram line there yeah. angel outside the double tram line She really did like to play and played it into the gap. And that's the break that Chinese Taipei have been searching for. And this will hopefully make her feel a little bit better because she was lacking in a little bit of confidence at the beginning of the second set. close to the net, hoist the perfect log, but she must thank her sister because uh, that was some reflex mid-rally from Letitia. You know, it's a, such a high quality point. That was the half volley there. And the movement forward as well, back into position and the perfectly weighted lob there. Didn't have much court to work with there, so far up the court herself. Can you sit there, there? Up there, thank you. to her shots, given half a chance.
pressure very early, sensing where the ball would come back. Ideally, you would have liked that one to go away, but she stayed alert. Angle. Almost the right shot. Charging in there. Not to recover because she knew it was coming back. Composure. First set certainly has helped. And then it's Chinese Taipei out to a three love lead in the second set. And one of her better backhands. Got down nice and low to it. Shoe moving early as well. There's no chance she could back she could get back for that volley. from these two and uh, we'll remind ourselves why right here a neutral point of view just where you want to see a very competitive women's doubles final as the top seeds fight back against the number two pair Yang serving at love three to that serve. Just got to keep telling themselves it's just a single break. going to get past the teacher that. There, it's on a racket. percentage going in the right direction again and low in the second set for the Chinese pair
anticipated something different. She went centrally, but back it goes up the line perfectly. Very early move. Tisha there, excuse me, Angel, getting herself in trouble. She never looked balanced, never looked comfortable in that point at the net. for a Jew right back at her good first volley there struck it cleanly she just took her time on that forehand using her power adjustment to make oh that's beautifully weighted seen a couple of Porkers on the lob. An angle to it as well. Is there to be another gold for Letitia in this event? She and her sister won bronze four years ago. Forehand Leticia. Shoe no surprise all over it. Tisha would be only the fourth woman to uh, have won this event twice. Keep that point alive initially. This is the one that should have gone away. Still, they continue to hustle. Shoe with some great hands there. And subtlety in the end with the angle and the trick. Don't power through them. Sometimes you've got to hit around them. Second set, pressing for a, a match tie-break decider. It could well be what we get to ultimately, but they're currently 4-1 ahead in set number two. And they can 
sit down more comfortably here. The T-shirt, knowing about this event so well. I mentioned that uh, three other players in the past have won gold twice in the women's doubles. Reiko Miyagi of Japan, Susanna Wibowo of Indonesia, and also Yaya Bazuki of Indonesia. Both of uh, them, along with Miyagi, two-time champions of this event. The Japanese actually have the best record. They won four Asian Games women's doubles titles down the years, but they haven't done so since 1994, and they were thwarted this time by uh, the Chinese in that uh, semi-final when Zhu and Yang beat uh, Kato and Nina Mia in the semi. Anybody's cool right now, but the moment <laughs> I'll try and say that again. The momentum currently with Chinese Taipei. Yeah, it certainly is, but it's been very tight, hasn't it? There's been points that have gone, could have gone either way. They have responded really well after losing that first set. <laughs> Bet your bottom dollar that the Chinese will continue to fight on here. They'll know how close it has been this second set. Make sure you hold sir and create more chances oh. on the turn. Determined to slam that one away. Yeah. Into position there. Turn. I was wondering earlier if she had it in her because uh, in the first set it kept going back to the net player but this sumptuous shot not an easy one but right behind that she's so hungry isn't she out there for for more moments like that to make an impact. Yeah, there was wonderful movement across the net. Knew this wasn't going to go away. Quick to react. Yeah. Bit of skill as well that she finds at the end of it. Yes. Angling that one away. And having to move back. Doing it, it has to be that good. A double break beckons for Chinese Taipei. is why we just love watching doubles. A little bit of everything. Not quite sure what happened there. She had to reach over, but it looks as if she could have slammed that one away. But how about that for a bit of skill once again? The T-shirt. So much left hand, left wrist to hook that one cross court being used. Well in, 
well struck. Pace to it and excellent length as well. Oh, tentative point all round there from Angel. Not getting up to that serve at all. In contact with the ball low position. So, a deciding point, a set point. They have hit back hard. And this final will go to the match tiebreak to decide it. One set of all. Ladies and gentlemen, the tempo match tiebreak will now be played to the satisfaction. Yeah, and only fitting gold medal match. Why not take it to a match tiebreak? A good set from Chinese Taipei. Very little in it, but they were winning the big points. And a couple of corkers, didn't we, there towards the end. Doubles is all about. Well, some start to the final day it has been here at uh, Jack of Bering Sports City venue. Delighted to see so many people in to watch. Yeah, the stands to the left and right are pretty much uh, full, which is good to see. The first time this week. And uh, a brief reminder here of uh, the excellence of the top seeds coming back in this second set. and some really good movement around the net, beautiful bits of skill. This was the most incredible end to a quality point. Again showing great skill on the move. So each team having to play in a match tiebreak for the second time this week. First to ten points, clear by two.
she managed it. Might have left it because uh, Yang's ball looked like it could be heading long, but to Angel's relief, no doubt. She didn't overhit this. And it drops in. Just have to make that early decision. Only a hesitation there. You're going to miss it. So once you've decided to take it, commit to it. Anticipation of that because Leticia hit a fine cross court. And she played it so aggressively as well, low over the net. This is uh, an exceptional shot. So easy to lose control of that, change the direction of the ball up the line. dealt with. Nothing's easy at this stage. trying to close down the gap but this tremendous strike too good well we've seen all match that she doesn't struggle generating her own play pace this was a slight miss hit as well so you have to watch that extra closely Close to it. Yeah. To tell Catch the tape angle. and then off the racket yeah, and maybe. away. Absolutely where it needed to be, catching out both of the Chan sisters and giving the Chinese a 4-2 lead. But was Letitia too conservative with her shots? Well, perhaps she's put a little deep trying to volley. But uh, Yang showing that she's not all about power, she's got the touch as well. She has been standout in this tie-break so far. Well, they've come back to level the match. Can they come back now in this match tie break?
Dryden. Hsu defending really well on that left wing and then just taking that brilliantly. Things considered, there's a lot of tension out here. She's done so well there. So cool. Snatching at it. Sweet. them back in. sister's racket and then she pounced well, she's got to use her advantage and that's her leverage and size shut down those angles Angels move Six, a bit five, too soon. And another big forehand from Yang. Trying to help out the, the surf. It just didn't have enough on it. 108 kilometers an hour. Just sitting there being back to hit. Change of end, six points apiece. Good recovery. Realizing the return was a decent length, and Atisha then moving forward. Sister approving. On they go. <laughs> well, Yang kept it on the line just, and then Zhu able to take advantage of that. It was was a lob lacking from Letitia's racket. She could keep two hands on the racket there, that helped just for extra stability, control. Don't be playing those backhand smashes with just a single hand, a hand on the racket. Very difficult. Splitting volley, enough on the ball to make it happen, and it's seven all. And another 
Apollo 1 finds the target. Coming down to that one, but then edging across, she sensed that was the chance. Keep the pressure on. Very well controlled. And it'll be Zhu serving 7-8 adrift in this very tight match tiebreak. Oh, boy! What a way to get the mini break and put them on the verge of victory. And it's been a return of serve that has been so tricky to deal with. The lefty swing, and she flushed it. Championship points for Chinese Taipei. Second championship point here, and it will be Letitia Chan, the champion eight years ago. Can she do it again? on the baseline. The rally just continued and nice way to close it out. Deserving of a winner. <laughs> Gasping for breath after that. And it'll be another change of ends. Championship point next. Nine points apiece. she had options was it back up the line or drag it across she dragged it wide and it is China having saved the championship points now with their first A brilliant conclusion and the second seeds ultimately just coming out on top of the number one pair. The Chans will have to make do with the silver medals. It is gold 
for Zhu and Zhang. What an incredible match there towards the end. Tennis was the highest quality in that tie break. Uh, you can just understand the amount of motion right now, the outpouring from the Chinese players. Bitter disappointment for the Chinese Taipei players. They really did come so close, but what a hustle from Zhu there in that tie break. And Yang Wu, she was excellent all match. The power that she showed today and you get it done. The relief they must feel right now and the joy, of course. Yes, these moments that are so precious after all the hard work, the perseverance, all the, the ups and downs, but the battle is won. With that, great that it was a winner ultimately that decided the title. Super emotion and uh, the relief as well as the absolute undiluted joy to have come through it and to have done so against championship points themselves. I mean, just so close and what a brilliant start to the day. Yeah, set the tone nicely. That's actually going to be a, a tough match to follow drama-wise, is not it? I mean, wow, that was so difficult to call there towards the end. You thought... Uh, Leticia and, and Angel had done just enough there towards the end, but these two girls, just these two women, just would not give up the ghost. The hustle that they showed there towards the end, and the quality of play as well. So many of those rallies, so many of those points ending in forced errors and winners, it was fitting for a high quality match. so much. Here are just some of the highlights. shots of a great match and uh, at the end there just seeing uh, Angel Chan and her regular doubles partner Yang 
embracing one another on opposite sides of the net. I mean, it was that close, it was that heartfelt, and it was uh, quite brilliant. And the sun's come out as well, so uh, shining on proceedings here. Long may that continue. We are hopeful to uh, get our two remaining finals through without any weather interruption. Dennis Istomin will be waiting in the wings to come out here as the top seed and take on the number 12. Another Chinese potentially could uh, get the goal. It's Wu Yi Bing representing China, just 18 years of age, taking on the very experienced player from Uzbekistan. And beyond that, well, we could have a bit more emotion. Indonesia, in the shape of uh, Chris Runkat and his partner Aldila Suciardi, the 11th seeds in the mixed doubles will take on Thailand's Buxika Kumkum and Sonchat Ratibatana, who are the fifth seeds. If you've enjoyed what you've seen already, do hope you can stay for the remainder of the action today. certainly provide, provided us with a, a great share of drama, dynamic play and, and something about doubles, isn't it? When you've got all four players just you know, darting around the court and producing the shots they have, the rallies they had. I mean, you go back to those championship points of the first one, OK, it was on the Chinese serve and it was a netted return, but the second one on Letitia's serve, you know, 9-8 they are. Um, that rally, yeah, oh. the hustle that they showed and the winner up the line to finish, yeah, it was, uh, it was incredible. But yeah, it's the speed at which they they play out in doubles, the, the reflexes, you just, just don't see that sort of tennis on the singles court, so when you see it on the doubles, you kind of marvel at this, the speed and you know, they've trained their hands, their hand-eye coordination to, to work in that way. It takes hours of dedication to try and perfect those sort of shots and uh, it pays off. It's uh, pretty spectacular. And of course, for club hackers like me, I mean, that, that's what we used to do. <laughs> Not quite that, that, that way, but you know what I mean. You know, doubles is the thing very yeah. much at, at most clubs, certainly back uh, where we come from in the UK. And that kind of never say die attitude of all of them out there just pushing their, their bodies to the limit to try and track everything down it, uh, great competition worthy of the occasion and not too far away hopefully from our first medal ceremony of the day scenes and uh, representatives of the uh, the Indonesian military will be the uh, flag bearers and uh, bring those out very shortly and of course let's not forget the uh, the teams beat in the semi-finals because both teams will also receive medals there'll be bronzes for uh, Nitanova and uh, Danilina, the uh, Kazakh pair who uh, didn't fare quite so well against the Chans, didn't manage to get a game off them, but uh, they'd fought through up to that point so well, so they uh, at least earned a bronze medal, and so too the, uh, the Japanese pairing, Kato and Nina Mia, who succumbed to Zhu and Yang in the semis will pick up the bronze. There you are. Confirmation of uh, the final places here in this women's doubles competition.
been very much a part of uh, the Asian Games for many years. It's the 15th time they've held tennis in the Games. Originally back in the mid-50s, just one year since then when they, uh, they didn't have it on the schedule, but uh, it's been a long time since uh, that occurred. And when you can see it producing the kind of excitement we've had here today and indeed leading up to the finals. So it should be. Just coming back to, uh, I think, gather their tennis bags because they went off court to have a quick change before the medal ceremony. Of course, for all the top players, I've been, uh, you know, <laughs> getting on that plane to United States to uh, New York. Yeah, something they've all got to do fairly soon. Yeah, it's a long trip over. <coughs> Thanks for, for them. The, the Dolls players at least, you know, they'll probably have a, a couple of days before they have to start, but uh, looking at the, the schedule for the singles tennis system, and it's actually down to play Monday evening there. So wow, uh, that's going to be a, a heck of a, a 48 hours for him now. What a turnaround for him. Yeah, Steve Johnson. Is Johnson still playing in yeah, Winston-Salem? Yeah, he's the final there, so he's got to play a final in Winston-Salem. And, and then... Uh, Play Monday evening, their last match out on the outside court, court 12, I think they're on. Just uh, some of the problems you have when you, you're at successful the week before.
Ladies and gentlemen, the medal award will be presented by Mr. Hong Daolin as the president of Chinese Taipei Olympic Committee. And the master will be presented by Mr. Hasim Adas as a secretary of Tennis Federation.
for taking a picture together with all the medalists. So the first of our medal ceremonies is uh, conducted and the joy for China with a second gold of the games in the tennis and there could be another one coming up if Wu Yibing can get the better of Dennis Istomin then they will have uh, three to show for their efforts but uh, in the women's doubles it's concluded like that with China on the top step Chinese Taipei so nearly there They'll have to settle for silver this time, and uh, then the Kazakhs and the Japanese pairs with their bronze medals. And all the photographs now for uh, family and friends who will gather around shortly after the official ones are done. A proud moments, and uh, for the finalists today, they, they really did put on a, an excellent show of doubles. Great to see. And, uh, it's fun to watch uh, players playing to such a level and producing such excitement. I mean, I mean, we couldn't have set it up any better. Uh, and hopefully we're going to have much more of the same coming up uh, in the two matches to come. But uh, well done the Chinese again. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, how much it meant to them as well. Hitting that final winning shot, falling to the ground, Yang, and uh, all those uh, emotions just pouring out and the relief of getting through that and all the hard work, the preparation they, they've uh, all put in for this week. It starts weeks before the actual competition. So uh, really well done to the Chinese, all the medalists. Jakarta, Palembang, South Sumatra, Indonesia. Thank you. So tough for the... Uh, the sisters, the Chan sisters, I mean, to lose a match is one thing, but to lose it when you had championship points for it, it, it makes it even harder. But they've taken it graciously, and um, they'll oblige the photographers. But uh, probably right now, they'd be happy to be off the court and away. In fact, they are just stepping down off their uh, second place position, and it's uh, left to uh, the gold medalists primarily to show those gleaming medals to all who want to take photos of them and the mascots as well. It's been a, an excellent tournament for the two of them. Well, we couldn't leave this one without just having a quick look back at that tie break. My goodness, it was breathtaking. Quality throughout, really, lots of winners, lots of long rallies, power on display. And just no room for error, and that was the final shot, the final point, and the gold was in the bag. with the achievement and of course behind every team uh, is a, a good support crew of coaches and all the others involved to uh, get them into uh, the best condition they can be <laughs> So great efforts from the two Chinese ladies to win the uh, women's doubles, having uh, also seen Wang Kiang win the singles in the women's. But what of their young man, Wu Yi Bing? It's his chance next to go for gold when he takes on the top seed 
Dennis Istomin. We'll take a breather and come back for that. Do join us then.